Hola, Taurus. Welcome. Doing the heart spread. This is for the last part of uh, July 2021. Using the um, ethereal visions, illuminated tarot deck, if you give it on. So we got them all. Left some in one time, had to redo a whole bunch of readings. <clears throat> How's 500 readings go? I got this. Welcome. I haven't done a heart spread. I did uh, Aries and it hasn't been a month. So, man, I'm so glad to be back. Feeling uh, really good. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, <clears throat> it's a highly energetic time. Everybody's rocking and rolling. It's summer. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is your relationship spread, okay, for whoever's on your mind, okay? We're asking spirit in the name of love and light. So it serves the greatest good. What can you tell us? For our Taurus friends here, found love and relationship. Who's on your mind? That's what this is about. If you're with them, if you're not with them, it's who's in your heart, really. It's our spread, man. It goes right there, okay? Now, if you're single, it's going to come up here. I need you to help me out, too. If you're single, now you're going to read this a little bit different way. Uh, help me out and then intuit it a little different. Um, and um, just think of it like if I'm talking about it as if it's already happened. Just think about this is what's coming. And trust in it, you know, it's what it's about. Um, and, and sometimes, you know, the, the relationship doesn't work. And I essentially read it then as a uh, uh, relationship uh, single reading with advice for you. King of Cups on the bottom, uh, Knight of Cups on you. Okay, so Taurus, heart spread. What do we have? Our Taurus friends. Last, uh, very last part, last week in July, guys. Let's wrap up July. There's a lot going on into August. Okay, kind of a transition here. This is you, Knight of Wands. You've been defending yourself in terms of love and relationship where you're at. Your partner's got seven of swords. Now they're defending themselves. Wow. Okay, so what do we got here? What do we got here? You know, you're looking away from the reading. You're at nine of, nine of Wands. They both look young here. I think we're dealing with younger people. They're looking kind of over their shoulder at you, and, and like they're you're the one they're stealing these uh, swords from, guys. Uh, Taurus, uh, Scorpio energy, perhaps. Of course, it's air. Dots. Um, I, you know, we talked about. I talked about this could be a singles reading. It 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 feels like a singles reading. If not. Uh, this is a relationship in the very uh, beginning. Um, you're kind of looking at each other. You're eyeing each other over. Um, shoot, who was it that did the song? Uh, I was looking back to see if you was looking back to see if I was looking back at you. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe like that. You know, they're definitely looking back at you. God damn, this could be an ex. This could be the one that hurts you. Well, I kind of hate to go here, but I'm getting that feeling. So this person is maybe the one that hurts you. They're kind of looking back at you. And you're recovering, and they're kind of seeing that. You know, you're, you know, you didn't fucking roll over and die. You know, you. I think you had a hard time of it. Like when they did something to you that was, you know, cheat, lying, stealing. Let's go there. Let me keep it simple. Okay, it puts you in a bad position. Look, your head is bandaged. You were hurt. Okay. I mean, you might have been out of your home. You might have been da 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 with the money. I mean, this could have uh, really put a hurting on you here, Taurus. Now, let's see what's going on here. In terms of how you're engaging them, look at the tower. So how you're feeling about them. I feel like right now, what this looks to me, like this person just kind of eyeing you and maybe made some kind of, con you know, they might have been like, hey, how are you doing? And, and you're kind of like, really? How am I doing now, you're asking? I'm fucking, you know, I've been in the hospital, I'm beat up. Uh, and you're kind of feeling towards them like, you know, what you represent to me, you're saying to them, Taurus, what you represent to me is the tower. I remember, I remember falling out of that fucking tower because of you, you know, because you kind of know, just that slick energy, you know, they're trying to worm their way back in. I'm just going to say it like that. I'm going to go here with it. Yeah, and you're not feeling it. So, Ace of Pentacles, but they're coming on strong. That's how they're feeling in the relationship. 
I'm going to tell you what happened. You know, I'd go through this with people, do these readings, and it's like it's not what you ever want to hear. Um, they moved on, and probably whoever they were cheating on you with or whomever, but now they, they um, you know, not interested anymore, or they broke up. I mean, if you were to investigate, I got a point you're not going to investigate. Good on you. Fuck them. Right? I hope. We'll see what your advice is here. Okay. And now they want to kind of reinvest in you. Like, you know, um, it, this is pretty low vibration, guys. Uh-huh. And Knight of Swords. Um, this is your advice from Spirit in terms of the relationship. Let me look at their advice or say anything on that in the chariot what kind of gets me here now i'm a little stumped spirit help me out here might have to clarify uh we there the nine the chariot this is their advice this is your advice i get your advice okay with the tower here um your advice is you're going to come at them verbally uh, straight on, maybe more assertive than you've maybe ever been in your life. You're definitely more assertive than you've ever been with them. And this is like you're saying to them, you remember the, what you did to me, that Seven of Swords shit you did to me? Because I fucking remember it very well, very well. I'm still like bandaged and just barely getting to where I'm ready to get back. You know, this soldier's getting ready to go back into the battle, sadly, back and forth. That's what's going on. and uh, But yeah, he was put out of uh, the fight, you know, because he was so hurt uh, by this lying, cheating, stealing bastard here, okay? So your, your energy is very clear here. Uh, it's to kind of defend yourself. And this is like, the kind of defense this is, like you're gonna set boundaries and defend yourself with your words. So this person's not even gonna get close to you, you know, I feel like, too. Uh, and they want to in the chariot. Now, this is the most interesting thing. If you're cross-watching, I'm going to tell you right now, um, if you're serious about this, then something had to seriously change. And the advice is, and this is for you too, Taurus. The advice is what you're going to ask them very directly. And, I mean, with the Knight of Swords, it's like you're not going to put up, like, you're going to look them in the eye and don't even fucking think about lying to me. Don't even think about it. Look me right in the eye right now. And you're going to ask the question, okay, that just, they can't worm out of, okay? But it, what they're being asked to do is to embrace their life's path, embrace their journey, to embrace their spiritual side. Uh, because I feel they've been in some really low vibrational energy for probably a while. And they're trying to come back in. They see you. Look, you're watching Tarot, Taurus. You're a spiritual person. They get it. Maybe they don't understand it. Maybe they don't talk about it. Maybe the thought hasn't popped into their head. I don't know. But they feel it. You know, that you're this grounding, you know, uh, force. But it's, it's, yeah, no, 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 no. You know, um, maybe uh, the advice of the cross watchers, you know, uh, learn your lesson from this and take that shit on and... Um, you know, be all you can be with somebody else. Six of Cups. Now, this is the advice for the relationship. Okay, I'm going to tell you what this is. This is karma, and this is uh, soul connections, okay? Soulmate connections. I'm not saying you're supposed to be together, but I'm saying um, I think now what's going on with you, uh, Taurus, your person, I don't think they knew what they're doing. And this might be why this chariot's coming in. It actually makes sense now. Uh, because what they were doing was what I call a soulmate hit job. They are your soulmate, yes. You guys have been doing it for a while. They're uh, part of your uh, close soul connections. Um, probably been together in past lives. And they contracted before you guys were born to do this to you. What did they do to you? I mean, you're coming in with a tower. You're bandaged up. You're in a very defensive position like you should be. So... Um, Think about, you know, when the tower comes in to the play, whenever it is, that's your list. That's to set you free. It may not seem that way. You'd be like, oh, it's setting me free? Well, right now I'm laying under a bunch of rubble. My leg's broken, bleeding out all over the uh, uh, dirt, and I don't feel very free. But that's what it wants to do. It's what it will do. It just doesn't, doesn't give a fuck. You know, it's not really sensitive. Aquarius, sorry, guys. <laughs> Detached. Okay? But this Six of Cups energy here... Uh, there's something here to learn in this relationship. There's something going on. 
So, you know, maybe what it was meant is for you to toughen up and not always trust everyone. You know, I've said this before, a lot of spiritual people, you know, Taurus ruled by Venus who wants to be uh, loving and, and look at things from a very positive perspective. It, you're, it doesn't make you less spiritual because you do a little strategic thinking and you just have to realize that, man, there's bad people in the world. Bad people in the world. And, you know, um, not to be paranoid or nothing, but maybe that's kind of what this lesson that they're coming in here to give you. And with the soulmate hit job, make no mistake, I mean, they will clean your fucking clock. And I think you had your clock cleaned here by this person. And I, I, don't, th I don't think they're aware, um, but with the chariot here, the spirit is telling them to try to uh, be aware of what's going on. You know, because there's a lesson into it, uh, exactly like yours, there's a lesson for the, uh, your person here, Taurus, uh, in terms of their, especially for them maybe, this is about their soul's uh, progression, their soul's path, kind of embracing their soul's path. And I'm gonna take it. Uh, I really want to come out. So the Knight of Cups, that's the outcome. When he's looking that way. I got a feeling you want to accept this, man. Um, that's what, because this is the advice of Six of Cups, and maybe what I'm saying is helping you, I don't know. Um, but the Ace of Pentacles does imply that in terms of them in the relationship, they are coming in and an Ace of Pentacles is sincere. It typically is sincere energy. They might be coming in with a sincere apology. I'm Venus and Scorpio, I don't play this. <laughs> but, you know, who knows, uh, the right person maybe, you know? Um, and if they're sincere, they are coming in as sincere with this Ace of Pentacles. It could be solid. Um, and the, I think that reassures me more about your person, Taurus, than anything else right here is the Chariot because it's in the position of what Spirit is telling them is in their own best interest in terms of the relationship. And you know, uh, for the Cross Watcher, when you, this is them realizing what they did. This is them if they get in this energy of the chariot, they now are aware of what they did. And so, like, they can't do it again without taking even more karma. Like, honestly, if they did something out of total ignorance, I'm sorry, it's just not as bad as if they do it out of total awareness. That's worse. It just is worse, you know? Um, when you do it out of ignorance, it means you're almost like a dumb animal. It's certainly there's consequences you know but when you do it out of a, when you have this kind of awareness and i'm not saying they will but now they're getting this kind of awareness you know and it seems to me like spirit's saying there's this soulmate connection there's definitely something there that needs to be learned um now i always think of a soulmate hit job as being you know but um it people do reconcile and that's entirely up to you Taurus, and Taurus you know, they could reconcile. Yeah. I know it's fixed, you know, but still it's Venus and, you know, um, and you think about, you're a Taurus and they're coming in with the pinnacle, Ace of Pentacles, kind of perfect. So, they're showing you something you want to see, you know, um, in terms of uh, their interest in the relationship. But man, you're, you're just not feeling it right now. So what I'd like is if uh, you, Taurus, could tell me, I'd like to know like a month from now or a week from now even, um, what's happening with you. Like, uh, did you, like maybe they just messaged you and you're just like, seriously, dude, you just messaged me? And like nothing, maybe they did it kind of like nothing happened. Like, hey, you know, como esta? <laughs> and you're kind of like, are they, um, and maybe, but maybe they're starting to get it because maybe you're telling, maybe you're telling them, and maybe it's sinking in. But man, you, the Knight of Cups is the outcome, and it's facing their way. I think you're going to capitulate and offer your cup of love. I don't actually feel bad about it. I feel okay about it. You know, you guys look young. Shit happens, especially if this is a Scorpio person. You know, God help them. You know. Um, 
yeah, it's okay, guys. Like it, let me know. Please leave a like, uh, thumbs up, and uh, do subscribe. Want to hit that 1,000 and go live? I will do this live too. So we'll everything live. Get on there. Be a lot more fun. Thank you, guys.